Hey guys, this is Pam coming to you from Stationary Nerd. I know, you don't normally see my face, but here I am. Okay, we're gonna talk about my travel journal. Um, I just dug up this old footage. I've been totally procrastinating on getting this video done, so I went on a cruise back in April. It's now the middle of November. I know, summer was a little crazy. All right, so I am going to show you the video that I filmed back then, which kind of gives you an overview of what I was taking on vacation and all of my weird indecision and stuff. And then when we're finished looking at that, we're gonna come back and actually look at the finished version of the journal. So um, I'm going to shoot you over to the old footage and then when we're done we're gonna come back to modern day November and um, look at the finished journal do a quick flip through and I'm gonna show you what was in the pen case that I took and the supplies that I actually took with me in my suitcase on vacation so here's a flashback in time talk to you later I am filming this quick video just before I leave for vacation. In fact, I really should be packing right now, but I'm not. I'm doing this instead. Um, but I needed to show this to you before I leave because when I get back, it'll be filled. So this is a traveler's notebook in standard size. This is one that I got on AliExpress. I'll tell you all about that another time. Um, I had it in engraved, embossed, whatever it is with Explore, with the intent that this was going to be truly my travel notebook. So right now I've got it all set up exactly how I need it for vacation, and I'm just going to do a, f a quick flip through. Um, this actually came with only one string, but then I added holes to make it a four string and so then that leaves this other hole on the top and the bottom which I don't really care about. So this is the standard size. I'm going to take my daily bread for um, devotions every morning and then this is my devotional um, insert that is uh, just a little bit over half full. So that'll be enough. And then I made some cards. I just had blank um, credit card, uh, just plain white credit card blanks, actually just like this. Um, and I just wrapped some washi. So this, these two, and this is not going to come out. Yeah, there we go. So these are my washies that I'm going to take with me. And this is my travel journal. I'm going to skip by that. Um, this is uh, Allie Brown's devotional um, art um, art journal. One of the uh, the devotional kit out of her the devotional book out of her art kit that was sold on Illustrated Faith. Um, and I want to go through this while I'm on vacation, so it's sized to actually go into a traveler's notebook. So that's on one of my strings. This is just a folder, nothing in it right now, and then this is just blank. And I am going to take, um, I'm gonna take with me a couple extra blank ones. They're small, and just in case I fill anything up, I've got that. So the whole point of this is to show you my travel journal and what I did with this. In this pocket, I have just some, I'm not going to pull them all out, but you can kind of see through um, just general beachy kind of stickers. So I made this insert. I did it by taking apart an existing insert. This is a Tomoa River um, insert that had um, Tomoa River paper in it from the uh, Taroko shop, and I took it apart and then I watercolored each one of these individual pages with just watercolor. Uh, actually, a combination of watercolor and ink. Just kind of playing around, making, um, making a mess, really. 
and I kind of love how it turned out. So I wanted to prepare all of the pages before I left so I just could add um, add my uh, memorabilia and my journaling and I am taking with me my HP sprocket so that is all packed and ready to go I've got plenty of extra film or printer pages there so let me just go from the front so I have um, decorated the front get these clips off of here um, and I did a couple of layers of cardstock and some scrapbooking paper and then I just decorated the front with various stickers and washi tape and I picked up a set of stickers sorry I'm gonna dig through here to find that little pack of stickers because I kind of hate it, so I want to show you what I bought so that you don't buy the same thing. Um, okay, so this is from Michaels, and it looks like a really cute sticker set, and my intent had been to bring it with me so I could use it to decorate. The problem is, the stickers are not very sticky. And anything that you see here from this sticker pack, I had to glue down with um, glue stick. So I think I'm just not going to bother with this and just go with, you know, washi tape and photos. Um, and then these little bubbles here are just um, little 3D dots that I picked up. I want to say that I got these at the dollar store. I don't know. But they've been around forever. And... Uh, I don't know. I thought they looked like bubbles. So I am going on a cruise. So I just printed the logo from Carnival and then um, I'm going on the Carnival Paradise. So here is my itinerary. Um, again, I decorated here. And this is what I did. I printed everything out on vellum paper uh, and just used my regular um, laser printer here at home and then cut these out and then glued them to the page because I wanted to have my itinerary in here I just didn't want to have to write everything by hand because you guys know me I'm very lazy so going to Florida for a couple of days to hang out on the beach and then going on a cruise and then um, coming home so my flight information my car information um, information about the uh, my Airbnb and the port schedule and then also the beginnings of a packing list which I should probably be paying attention to that and then what I'm covering here is just my trip expenses um, how much I paid for everything um, I just like to have that information available for future reference when I go back and then uh, when I go back and look at uh, travel journals from past. And then also as part of that um, printout that I did, I created individual um, page headers for each day and what I was doing. So for instance, on Easter, I will be in Sarasota and I will be spending Easter Sunday on the beach um, hoping to be there by sunrise so I just have these tucked into the pocket so that I can glue these onto the top of the page once I get to the page where that day is obviously I've already started because Saturday is the first day of my vacation I left this blank fingering I would add a couple of pictures here and I put sticker here and then I, the rest of it's just all blank until yeah, until you get to the very end. And then I always like to do in my travel journal a lesson learn, lessons learned and just list out everything good and everything bad about my vacation so that I can make adjustments for next time. I just made a pocket here out of cardstock. It's not super, like there's not a lot of room there, so who knows what's going to actually be in there, but it, it's cute. Um, and then just the back and I added um, 
just uh, packing tape to the back. So that's what I'm doing. However, as I'm sitting here um, preparing uh, my uh, travel kit, which by the way, this right here, um, this is not packed for vacation. This is just a general um, pen case that I have, but my goal is this is the only pen case that I'm taking. Sorry, that was loud. Um, so I need to pack this and figure that out. Um, but as I'm sitting here pulling stuff together, I realize that I kind of don't like this. There's too much overhang and it feels too small and I don't like touching this um, the notebooks when I'm holding it. So I am considering switching to a different notebook. And I tell you, this was an agonizing decision and I can't believe at the very last minute I am going to change my mind. So uh, I figured if I was gonna swap everything out that I would do it on camera. So I have decided, um, actually it was a choice between these two. This is a leather quill that I um, stenciled on, did a bunch of work on. There is a video filmed for this, um, but I haven't published that yet. Super adorable little fox. Um, this is actually what I'm using for devotions and prayer journal. So this, that first notebook in here came out of this notebook. So I had considered um, setting this up for travel, but then decided to just leave this be, and instead I'm going to use this. This is a notebook that I got on Amazon for $20, um, and I bought it because I thought, this is crazy, there's no way that this is $20, and it's of any good quality. So... Imagine my surprise when it was amazing. So this is gorgeous leather. I have rolled it, I've beat it up just to see what it would look like. Um, the back flap here is uh, a different leather than the front. There was a pen loop here, I took it off. Um, I loved it so much that I went back and bought another one. And this is the dark brown, this is the regular brown. Oh man, look at that. Maybe I'm gonna take this one. No, I have made my decision. Anyway, this is um, what that pen loop looks like. It's actually attached here, which then makes it impossible to close. So this one I didn't take all the way off. I just unattached that top part. I'm not sure what I'm gonna do with it, but I just left it. This one I actually cut completely off which I'm fine with. I mean, it was $20. Literally, you guys, $19.99. Um, I'll link it below so you guys can check it out. So, I'm gonna switch this out. So this, you guys, now I'm totally doubting everything. Maybe I am gonna take this one instead. Okay, decision made. Look at this, I'm making decisions. I mean, it is, Oh, 9.45, the night before my flight. Okay, no pressure. All right, I am gonna take these out. These are actually inserts that I made out of some Rhodia paper and then just um, stitched them and added scrapbook paper as covers. Just taking this apart, taking it all apart. And I'm going to set all of this aside and take this apart. In fact, I'm going to put it together as I go. So first one, actually I'm going to put these in here. And that, okay. Where's my center? I can't find my center. Okay. I love these papers, you guys. Um, when I 
I I need to demonstrate for you how I did this because it's really cool. But basically, I just um, soaked the paper and what um, with watercolor, water, the whole nine yards. Oh, this is kind of all right. Bear with me while we have fire on the camera. So it doesn't look like these are singed off. I'm just going to do that real quick. Okay. No chance of raveling on me. This is the first time I've actually used this notebook for anything, so I'm kind of excited. We'll see how this goes. And I'm going to... I don't know you guys do I like this other I think I like this other one better so I'm going to use this craft one instead of that colorful one by delusions if I had been planning ahead I would have done this days ago and I would have decorated these Okay, so there we go. I'm ready for vacation. <laughs> yeah, right. Um, I just need to figure out this and then I'm gonna go. So I'm not gonna edit this video until I get back from vacation and so you'll get a walkthrough of that um, travel journal after it's all filled up because I'm gonna work on that during vacation. So, all right, that's all for now. Talk to you later, bye. Okay, here we are on the table, and we're going to take a look at the things that I brought with me on vacation, and then do a quick flip through of my travel journal uh, insert that's in here. So, first of all, um, so I really did actually stay with this notebook that I switched into at the last minute, and in fact, it has been loaded exactly as it was in April the entire time and I haven't touched it so I'm telling you summer was crazy okay so I took with me the um, my HP sprocket um, which I haven't actually opened since I um, got back from vacation so the HP sprocket was awesome and I took, um, I think I took um, six or seven um, packs of printer paper with me and I ran out. So I had to finish off some printing um, when I got home. And there's a couple of extra photos that were um, extras. And so anyway, okay, so HP Sprocket, awesome little printer. I highly recommend it um, and it's perfect for traveling and we're going to show you um, some of the pictures once we do the flip through. So that went with me and then I had a really hard time deciding what I was taking with me for um, pens and um, stickers and washi tape so I confined myself to this one um, pencil case or pen case or whatever it's called. I feel like I have pilfered stuff from here, so I can't say for sure that this is exactly what I took, um, but it's pretty close. Um, I think that there are scissors. Oh, here's the scissors. So scissors went in here too. Um, so let me just um, do a quick look through here. So teeny tiny baby scissors. So these are actually legal to go in my carry-on, and they did. Um, and then I took an eraser and a glue pen, or a glue stick. Um, I'm just gonna take all of this out here. You know what I'm missing is um, a tape runner. So I took one of those too, but I know that I've taken that out. So. Apparently my nail file ended up in here 
and a ruler and miscellaneous um, paper clips and binder clips and of course some uh, stationary nerd stickers. So I decided to go with I was really trying to figure out which fountain pen I was taking and I didn't want to take a bottle of ink with me so I ended up going with the Platinum Preppy and then buying a couple of um, refill cartridges and I took two of these um, packs with me so I went through um, about two and a half cartridges of ink while I was gone and then I took these fun glitter um, highlighters. I'll find a link to these um, and include them in the description below. I think I bought them on Amazon. And then I knew that I wanted to take a few different regular writing pens. So I took a couple um, uh, fine liners. These are the Bic Intensity, which I definitely love. I got this pen while I was doing a Zentangle um, uh, little class and that um, that's kind of cool. I didn't really know that the Pigma um, fine liners came in a plastic tip. So I don't think I've actually tried to find these. So let me see if I can find the, and this is not going to focus for you, um, but it's a plastic tip, but it, it operates just exactly like the fine tip Sigma um, fine liners. Yeah, Pigma fine liners. Um, and I knew that I was going for a blue theme, so I did bring my Pilot G2 in turquoise and then just a regular um, tool in black. And I think this is black as well. This is just a Energel Pentel. And then I took with me the Tombow Food Nasuki um, this is the hard um, calligraphy pen. So, and then I took a few of my um, Sparkle Pop uh, by Pentel. These guys are awesome, and if you haven't tried them before, you definitely should. Let me see if I can show you the sparkliness of these. Uh, yeah, maybe. Uh, yeah, maybe you can. So, anyway. And yes, I do scribble in the back of my notebooks. I know a lot of people freak out about that. Um, so anyway, this is what I took. It. Um, I'm pretty sure that there are other things in here that I took out, but I don't remember what they are. So that, that was the extent of my supply cabinet. Okay, and then this is the notebook that I took. So... Um, it got a little um, sun damage, so I did um, put a coat of coconut oil on it once I got home, but otherwise, that's it. Um, I didn't do anything with this. So, um, didn't really do a lot in this first notebook here. Oh, no, actually, this is a second notebook. So I did, my devotionals was in this spot, and then I ran out of room and um, swapped out to another and that notebook actually got moved back into the traveler's notebook that I use um, for my devotions all the time. Um, and then you can see here that I went through a lot of washi. I used up all of that um, gold glitter and um, a lot of the others. So these are just random stickers. And let me see, we're gonna skip this part and you can see that I used up almost all of the stickers that were in here. Just a few um, left over that I didn't really that didn't really apply. Um, I did read through this. This was really good. Um, and then I did have another, um, just a regular journaling journal here in the back. Okay, so you guys want to see this, right? Okay. So let me just zoom in here so i think that's good maybe a little bit okay so you've already seen the front and then inside so i used this huge paper clip 
during the vacation so that I could mark my spot and it was really easy to just um, go to the page that I was on. So added a photo here, a few from the top deck, and then of course my itinerary, and then I added a few notes here. So my little sticker from my luggage tag, which is good to have when you need to get your luggage, but you know, we always lose it in all of the stuff that we, all of the paperwork. So I just stuck it there. Um, I made a note of what kind of cars I got when I went for rental. By the way, you guys, I had a little bit of a um, fountain pen accident. So uh, excuse the blue ink on my, on my fingers. So, um, all right, I, the only camera that I brought with me was my phone. I did not bring my big camera, my DSLR, or even my point and shoot. This was the only thing that I took with me and I was happy with um, the way that that worked out. So each day I took photos and then when I got back to my hotel or to the cabin at the end of the day, I printed out a few photos that represented the day. And this um, sticker paper for the um, photos is actually, or the paper for the photos is actually sticker paper. So I didn't have to bring um, a whole bunch of glue or sticky stuff. So um, I could just stick those in. And so I would print out a few, make notes, add some washi tape, and then my header that was pre-printed. And then um, I wrote about the day Again, adding photos throughout. Um, sometimes little photos. I can um, you can actually tile photos or do several photos um, on a single printout. And then I tried to keep track of the food that I ate that day, just kind of not because I was counting calories, but because it's interesting to me to go back and look to see what I ate and where I ate. So here is my uh, beach my obligatory feet picture. I take feet pictures um, and share them with my friends and they tease me about it. Um, and uh, took my journal to the beach with me. Um, this was my Airbnb that first night. Um, and then a lot of times what I'll do is I will tip in a photo um, if I don't wanna take up the space or if I forget. So um, I just use washi tape to attach it to the side. Um, and again, photos and journaling, photos and journaling. And then, um, so here was my first day on the ship. So I have a few photos of the ship itself and then the first day at sea. And of course, taking pictures of the food that I eat. So, um, this, um, this coin randomly appeared in my um, cabin. I don't know how that happened. But yeah, just pretty simple, but I used the single fountain pen throughout. So rather, and I, you know, actually all of these, I don't even know where my fountain pen went. So here we go. So I just used this fountain pen throughout the entire um, journal and throughout, like this um, was an excursion armband. I just glued that in. This was the most amazing beach. It's actually called Paradise Beach and I loved it. This was uh, Mexico and sushi on a cruise ship. You guys is the best sushi you will ever eat. Fresh, fresh, fresh. Okay, and now, so here's a picture of um, my morning. So every morning I would get up and I would head to the cafe, take my journal with me, and I would sit on the banquette next to the windows and I would just journal every morning about um, either the previous day, catching up the previous day, or uh, what was coming up that day, um, that kind of thing. So I even put in um, the ship's uh, map. And I just clipped that in so it doesn't flop all over the place. I found that I did not actually use all of the pens that I took uh, with me. Um, so I could have totally been happy with this and maybe a couple of color pens. 
or maybe a couple of markers. Um, so I totally got stuck in Florida. There was a huge snowstorm in April in Chicago and uh, it took me two days to get home and thankfully my aunt and uncle put me up in their place for a couple of nights to um, get me through until I could get home and um, took them out to eat and spent the day at the beach. Yes, that is what you call beach hair. All right, and so, um, oh, I love this picture. I, um, ha I bought this um, water bottle, um, this thermal um, Contigo bottle for my vacation specifically, and I lost it on the last day in the airport. So it made it all through the Caribbean and I didn't lose it. And then all of a sudden it was gone. I was so angry. Um, all right, so, and then I got all the way to the end. So as I mentioned, um, lessons learned, I did um, write that out. And of course, pack less stuff is always at the top of my list. Um, but then I also did what would I change? And um, those will come in handy for the next time I go on a trip. I will actually refer back to these and make adjustments accordingly. And then my room key and... Um, all right, so this is my travel journal and I love the way it looks. I love how it turned out and it makes me wanna go on vacation again right now. Um, so let me know um, if you have any questions or if you have suggestions on what I can do better next time. Um, but yeah, don't overpack. Take just a few things, prepare stuff ahead of time. Um, I can tell you that doing the entire book, doing the printout of everything, and then also creating those um, pre-printed page headers just helped me have fun with this instead of making it feel like a chore or an obligation that I had to do throughout the vacation. So anyway, all right, that's all for now. I will talk to you later. Bye.